Welcome everyone to this, our first Little Ones YouTube video. And uh, we thought we would start with our Little One song just like we always do, but of course we've no idea who's actually out there watching. And in case you're wondering why we're looking like this, it's because we've just done our Sunday morning service and we thought, well, why don't we record our YouTube songs while we're at it? And you're always welcome to join us at half past ten on a Sunday morning if you want to come and join us, or you can download the live stream later on. So we're going to sing our little one's song, and we thought we'll sing, first of all, we'll sing it for Mary and Rachel, and for everyone. So. Whether we're at home or play, God is with us every day. Thank you, God, for being near. When we pray, we know you're here. We pray for Mary. We pray for Rachel. We pray for everyone. We pray for you today. Now, so far, so good, but I think we've missed somebody out. Or two um, people out. Well, there's so, you and me. So should we pray for okay. us and everyone? Yep. Okay, yep. so. Whether we're at home or pain, God is with us every day. Thank you, God, for being near. When we pray, we know you hear. We pray for Ali. We pray for Paul. everyone and welcome to our very first Little Ones video service. Today we're going to listen to the story of the creation and Rachel is going to start with a prayer. So if you'd like to put your hands together and close your eyes we can pray together. Dear God, may the earth be kind to everyone. Pure cool water flowing Clean and clear air blowing, crops in good earth growing, golden sunshine glowing. May we be kind to the earth, keep your cool water flowing, the clean, clear air blowing, the good crops growing, so that we have good world for everyone. Amen. Amen. In the beginning, there was nothing just nothing except there was God of course and then God decided to get creative. God made the light and the dark. He called the light day and he called the dark night and God saw that was good. So then God made water and he made the air so now we had water to drink and air to breathe and God saw that was good so then God made the dry land And he made the green plants to put on the land. And he made, he made the flowers. And he made trees which would have apples and leaves and all the good things that would grow on the land God made. And he saw they were good. Then God made the sun to shine in the sky, to give us light in the day, and the moon and the stars to shine in the night, so they would give us light at night and show us the way to go. And then God saw all that was good, so he started to make things that were alive. He made things that would live 
He made things that would live in the sea or fly in the air. He made owls and fish and tadpoles that grow into frogs. and turtles, and shellfish, and dolphins, and octopuses, and butterflies, beautiful butterflies that fly in the air, and birds that fly in the air too. God saw that was all good. So then, God made things to live on the dry land. Elephants, and dogs, and pigs. And giraffes, and tortoises that and lions and spiders things that would jump and run and crawl and he made these he made ducks they can live in the water, they can swim in the water, they can fly in the air, and they can walk on the land. And God looked at all these things that he had made, and he saw they were good. But one more thing was needed. He needed to make something to look after his world. And so he made people men and women <laughs> there we go. he made us and he gave us a job to do he told us to look after his world and to keep it so that it would be good for everyone to live in Thank you, Mary, for that lovely story. So we're going to sing a couple of songs about creation now. We're going to sing, to start with, My God is So Big. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong. you'll probably all know really well. He's got the whole world in his hands. In his hands, God, you 
to close your eyes now and put your hands together and I'll say a prayer. Father God, thank you for the creation. Thank you for how you've given it to us to look after and care for. Thank you that something that took you billions and billions of years to make, you share with us. So we are sorry for the times when we don't look after your creation. And we ask that you would help us to always remember every day what a special gift this is that you gave to us. Amen. Amen. And now we will say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We finish with the little one's prayer. Jesus, friend of little children, be a friend to me. Take my hand and ever keep me close to thee. Amen. Hello everyone. For those that normally come to little ones, we normally do a craft activity. So I'm going to do one today about creation with this, I'm gonna read this out to you. God, he's got the whole world in his hands. So it's quite a simple activity. I've done quite a few, bit of prep before I've come today, but I'll tell you what you need. You'll need a paper plate, some scissors, some cardboard, a pen, some type of coloring pencil or felt tip or crayon, some glue, and lots of different colour tissues, so your blues, your greens, aquas, whatever you've got really to represent the earth and the sea. So to start with, what I would say is that children or parents, you can draw around your hands and cut out two handprints like this. I've just stuck them together with some sellotape. And then here was just a paper plate that I cut the middle out of. And as you can see, it says he's got the whole world in his hands, meaning God. Now, you can use sticky back plastic with obviously current times. Mine hasn't arrived, so I'm going to improvise with cling film. So we're going to try it today. I'm going to place the plate on top of the cling film. I've got my pre-cut tissue paper and I've got some clear glue. Now, if you have only got the white PVA glue, it does dry clear. But if you've got sticky black plastic, you don't need this. So we're going to improvise like this today and put some glue on there. And then these can be dotted around everywhere. So you haven't got to do it perfectly in the shape of the world, but if you want to, you can. And the children will have great fun just sticking these on all the way around into the glue like this. And you can do whatever you want with that pattern there because the idea is with the sticky back plastic or the cling film when it's finished the light should shine through so we've got that there and I've already pre-cut like a circle of cling film but if you've got your sticky back plastic that should work better but we'll give this a go like this I'm gonna stick that down okay and then, all you need to do now 
is place your hands on at the bottom of the plate. So you can do this if you want to staple it if it's easier, or glue, or double-sided sticky tape, that's great. I'm going to use, I've got some double-sided sticky tape here, so I'm just going to break some off. Place it along the bottom. Like so. And then we've got the hands. So obviously if your child's doing it, it'll be a lot smaller. And I'm just going to place it on there on the bottom. I'll just fold my cling film underneath, which I can trim off later. And there you will have your stained glass window piece here. So you can hold it up to the light and God has got the whole world in his hands. So it's been lovely to join with you. I hope you've really enjoyed all the parts of this service. And we look forward to getting together again soon. And I was thinking as we were putting these songs together, you might have been sat there looking at Alison's harp thinking, is she actually going to play that on this video? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, yes, she is. So we thought we can't finish a little one service without Jesus loves the little ones. So remember, little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like you, you, you. Now, we can't point because if we start pointing, then we'll stop being able to play. So when you're joining in with this video, if you point at yourself when it's me, point at each other when it's you. And remember, if you've got any shakers, this is the time to get them out and play. So this is Jesus Loves the Little Ones. <laughs> Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me sat upon his knee. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like you, you, you. Jesus loves the little ones like you. This time we're going to do it a little bit more loudly. Remember, quite often the first time we do this through, we're not sure how loudly we can sing it. So you want to sing it much more loudly this time. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me, sat up on his knee. Jesus loves the little ones like me. again and we look forward to joining you with our next little ones video bye bye